Okay, so we want to make another porcelain casting table. What? Oh. I'm just going to keep making spare ones of these. Oops, that's the wrong one. Eventually, I'm going to run out of space. What I'm probably going to do... Let's make a... Uh, Oops. I didn't make a tank. I guess let's make a second tank. I'm just gonna double up on a number of these. Because yeah, I just don't have the prestige points to get more. Okay, so this leaves me with two faucets. Okay, this is enough to get a couple of these. And these will just be little one-off tables for resources that I use somewhat frequently, but not often enough to want to have more of. Uh, let's see. There we go. this. Dump that off. Okay, so what I'm probably going to do is just have obsidian in one of these and then, I don't know, maybe sil silver in the other ones. Uh, but I'm thinking we're going to make two shurikens. Uh, maybe? Because they've got a limited durability, so it seems like having one or two of them on hand would be a smart idea. I'm going to make one that is probably just all cobalt. Just because of the raw damage and durability. And then one that's going to be a bit more of a hodgepodge. And I know you can repair them. But that's... Not always the easiest. We should figure out how to make liquid cactus. Uh, let's see, so I hope he makes it out of magnetic. How does magnetic work? And you can give them mending. Yeah, I gotta figure out where, uh, how's mending work? Modifiers. Mending moss. Chanting with some EXP causes it to fuse with the tool, restoring it gradually. So as the EXP picked up, max amount stored increases the modifier level, slowly repairs the tool over time, it has to be in hot bar. Multiple levels. Yeah, but I have to get the mending moss. I don't even know how to get that modifier. And yeah, if it has five times reinforced, it's indestructible. But... I gotta level it up. I, look, let me play around before you guys start micromanaging how to make the best damn shuriken. Let me have my fun, okay? Because I'm sure I could, I could make an unbreakable shuriken. I probably will, but later. Okay, we'll make two of these. I don't know what the other one's going to be. Okay, so that should be... I know the last thing that I needed. While I'm here, I need to get mineral wood. Get an ecological knife blade. Cool. So, we want to go here. Okay. Wait, hold on. Uh. Is that it? Did I <laughs> match the picture? <laughs> I don't know if it's super obvious, but the example here is brown, white, purple, blue, which is what we've done. So, we've got an ecological magnetic momentum light lightweight durate uh, wood iron cobalt osmium shuriken. Should be pretty fun. Much damage. That actually doesn't do that much more damage. The only difference would be... Oh, I should have probably looked at the... 
durability, but whatever. Let's see. I believe you have what you need to make the moss. You just need to know... You need to know how to make it. I... Ball of moss. The problem is there's a difference between the mending moss modifier and ball of moss. Oh, I see. Right-click on a bookshelf with this to convert it into mending moss. Oh. That's easy enough. Mossy cobblestone. We need vines. Mmm, that's an issue. Is it? These are jungle trees, yeah? Go get some vines. Gonna take those out. There we go. What? No, 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 no. Nope. Oh. That's the dehydrator. It needs water. If I had a better setup for it, I'd grow my own. I don't really have the setup for that. That said, I got a lot of... <sighs> a lot of stuff. What's the durability on this thing? Ammo is only 40. That's the one problem. Oh, I see. I have to right-click to throw it. Okay, so I can pick him back up. So it's 35. How long does it take for this to regrow? And I can repair it with wood, since the headpiece is wood. I'm pretty sure I have to re repair it with a bench, though. And I mean, I guess we could get the sharpening kit pattern. It does work. It's an option. Uh, it's not a terrible option for this weapon. My only... Yeah, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna make... I'm gonna make this for the time being. We're gonna just have a, a spare. This way I have a cobalt shuriken and a regular shuriken. Or, not regular shuriken, but a, a weird shuriken. And eventually, yeah, we'll want to make one unbreakable and figure out modifiers and some other things. Let's see, diamond adds some durability. Yeah, I guess we should probably look at that. Cause I know, I know, five times reinforced makes it invincible. So that's that's just a diamond. Oh. Well, yeah. Can you remove modifiers from things? Or once the modifier's on, that's it for good. Well, I guess I can always remake remake these things, so hardly an issue. Okay. So, that gives it the diamond ability. Okay, so how's that durability doing? Oh, it more than it more than doubled it and gave me a nice damage increase. So I'm just gonna keep it that and we'll reinforce it a couple of times. You'll get a modifier slot every time it levels up. What's the max level? Uh let's see. Hmm. 
couple of these away, put away the plates. Max level's a lot. Okay, so I... Unbreakable is not outside of my... the realm of possibility, then. I was afraid that I'd have to do... Uh... I was afraid I'd have to do something insane to get up there. Uh, let's see. So we want to drop off the terracotta, drop off the bricks. Actually, let's grab the blocks of iron leave them down here. How are these doing? Just leave those there. Probably should go put my books... Actually, do I want to put my books back? Or do we go through the grueling effort to make a full cobalt armor set? I made about cobalt. Uh, let's check armor materials. So ecological repairs itself. We don't want cheap. Mundane. Spiny. Velk rejuvenates both you and your armor. <laughs> Bone, obsidian. Prismarine and... Enderport? Combustible. Absorbent. Oh, you can grow vine. I'll have to figure that out later. Dramatic, invigorating, auto forge. Oh, magma slime. Oh, but that requires mag magma slime crystals. This is actually something we'd want to get. Armor repairs itself in fire. We're going to be on fire a lot. Let's see, additionally XP might not be bad. Uh, let's see. Place it on a wall, and it'll grow on its own. Oh. I'll have to make a wall then. So lead might not be a bad idea. And all of the, the lead abilities apply. Steel isn't a terrible idea. Steel's hard to come by, though. Oh, is... Was Cobalt not an option? No, there's Cobalt. Cobalt is Featherweight, so that's actually pretty good. Uh, let's see. Armor materials. So why don't we do... I have no idea what it'll wash off is. We need more durability. Th or we need more armor than that, though. So let's do lead, cobalt, and... Why not mix up steel, seeing as I've got this set up? Yeah. It's iron. Iron is magnetic. But yeah, why not mix up steel? I can do without. We should put the clay in another thing. Figure out how to automate this sucker. Okay. So... Steel. Molten steel is liquefied... Liquefacted coal and molten iron. Okay, so the answer is coal, crushed coal. 
for coal amber. Okay. So yeah, let's let's finally get up in steel. It's about it's about time that we actually dealt with this anyway. There, grab another one of these. Uh, let's see, was this my? This is my clay. At some point, I'll have to figure out a a better setup for it. That'll be later. Oh shoot! Oh, the hopper had stuff in it. I was wondering about that. Okay, so we want to do this to this. Okay, that should be a decent amount. I'm just going to drop the brick there. Yeah, auto clicker plus hopper equals auto smeltery. Very potentially, I am gonna have to mess with that later though, but like, low priority. It'll help, but it's not going to make a, that big of a difference. So how do we get this to flow inwards? Whoops. Okay, anyone want to explain how to get these two to hook up? Oh, for starters, need bucket. some candles, romantic music. I'm um, not quite. Okay. You need a faucet, then the channel. Oh. So I have to move these over. Why do I keep doing this to myself? So I've got a... You sure? I'm just gonna empty this out real quick. Yeah, I can check the manual. This one? Was it this one? Oh, right, wrong one. Materials and you. Uh, melter, smeltery, alloy tank. Yeah, no, they just had them next to each other. Okay, so we're just gonna we're just gonna empty this sucker out. We'll just remelt all of the blocks of coal as soon as we're uh, as soon as we've got this set back up. Okay. Uh, 
inventory is not full. Let's see. Oh, right. I can move things around with shift-click. I totally forgot about that. Okay. Alloy tank... in the blocks of coal. Okay, there we go. We've got steel. Okay, this is working so far. Uh, let's grab that cabinet. Oops. Okay, cannot pick this back up. There we go. So we're just going to put in all the coal amber and coal resin again. And the graphite ingots. Hopefully that'll... That'll melt out. Alright, there we go. So next up we got to... We got to get some metal going. Uh, let's see. I want to make armor. Armor forge. Okay, so if I want to make a helmet, we need... Okay, so we need these. And then one of each. Okay. Take that back. Uh... There we go. Grab these, move the weapons back. This isn't so bad. It's a bit complex, and I wish it was a bit simpler, like... Doing this repeatedly in the future is going to be kind of annoying. But in the meantime, it'll be okay. everything because yeah it's one for each okay cool so we're gonna go back to this move these over but yeah I, I put these in the wrong thing okay let's go back and work on some of these Let's see, you recommend wood trim for the bonus effects. I was looking at the wood bonus effects. It's tempting, but I think I might want the moss modifier instead. Because ecological is good. It's tempting. Because, yeah, self-repairing armor armor would be very helpful, because I'd never have to worry about repairing it. I don't take enough damage, and I'm not in combat often enough to really justify it. That's part of what I did with the uh, with my shurikens, too, but everybody's like, No, you don't need it. It's so slow. And I'm like, eh. My thoughts are... I'm very curious. Shell is, I think, yelling at somebody. Weird. 
Uh, probably more copyright stuff. Okay. Um, so let's let's take a look at a couple of things. Because I was thinking of steel, cobalt, and I don't actually know what my last one was going to be. So yeah, maybe the trim wouldn't be a bad idea. Especially because if we take a look at it, trim just determines extra durability. So yeah, wood trim is not a terrible idea. Because we want our core to probably be cobalt. And we want our... Oh, it was going to be lead. That was the other material I wanted. Do we have anything that actually has a positive modifier here? Electrum. Any of these other that are particularly positive or high? Because this modifier... Total durability of the armor will be multiplied by this. Do we have anything else that's good? Bronze, dense, ardite, but it really hurts the durability. Cobalt wasn't terrible. Sponge. Oddly enough, sponge is actually one of the best for plates, which is weird. Bone. But I think, honestly, what we're going to do, steel plates, cobalt core, wood trim. Let's see. Because that'll, that'll keep the durability high and just keep me well defended. Okay. I think we've got a plan. And then we'll maybe consider enchanting it all with that moss. I'll have to make a, a big old wall and get like a vine wall. There's probably a better way of doing this. If I remember right, I could actually trade for vines relatively easily. Okay, so the only thing I'm missing are boots. Okay, let's go back to this, get another one. Wait, nope, why... why did I do that? I guess I'll just have a spare. Sorry, brain. It's okay, we should have enough cobalt for the boots. And then we'll have to stop. Because I'm actually running out of liquefied cobalt. It's okay, we're, we're producing plenty of it. There we go. I guess I didn't need more plates than that, but that's fine. 
I can melt the extra. Aha! Works for me. Probably not with the uh, seal plating, but whatever. Okay, so we want to go back to this, switch this out. Oops, I'm a dumbass. One, two, three, four. Okay, then we want to fling this into the void. Okay, this is Tool Forge. We want Armor Forge. Oh shit, that looks so much cooler than what I had on. I also notice I'm pretty much matching the color scheme that they present to me every single time. Which is hilarious and entirely unintentional. Like, okay, sure. I, I'm mixing the colors around a little bit, but like, these are the default colors that they're giving me, and I am slightly remixing it. Oh. Okay, high durability, decent defense, toughness, and decent everything. And I look so much cooler than I did with the default equipment. I look like a freaking tank bot. It's great. Uh, let's see. So let's let's go put some of this stuff away. Uh, let's see. Is it F? No, it's not F3. F5? There we go. Unfortunately, I don't animate well because no Minecraft character ever really animates that well. But I like it. How's it compared to the stats on Diamond? Uh, two armor toughness, eight armor. Uh, six armor toughness, eight armor. And that's without levels. So... Pretty happy with it. Still gonna lose it when I die, which is gonna make me a bit pissed off, but it's okay, we can get more. And hopefully we're not going to be spending too much time in the nether. We will. I won't die. Uh <laughs> Are there any good RPG mods where you yourself can level up? Because I actually would love that as well. Just become more ridiculous. You get a nether star. You can soulbind the, soul the tinker stuff so you never lose it. Oh, that'd be nice. I'm going to just leave the spare buckets there. Spare iron there. We got donuts. Uh, leave the torches, the obsidian. Okay, grand scheme of things is actually pretty close to what I need. Let's see. I'm playing a roguelike RPG where you can buy perks with levels. I think I was watching Cryoris play that, yeah. You want to see Wander make an awesome sword. Okay, we can make an awesome sword. Give me a second, I gotta restock on Cobalt. And then, once we're done with this, I'll figure out enchanting. Uh, let's see. So, what kind of swords do we have? Let's see. Broadsword. Lunge attack. Bypasses armor. Log and sword could be fun.
I think we're going battle sign. Reflecting projectiles is stupidly useful for what we're going to be doing. Okay, uh, let's see. So, I'm gonna... I'm gonna one-trick pony here. Just gonna grab this, and... Is this the sign plate? Perfect. Back to this. Put this in here. Uh, let's see, park builder. Wooden tool rod. Wooden sign. Interesting. Oh, because I already have that one. I'm gonna leave that over there. Hopefully we'll forget about it. What is the battle sign? Stupid, but that's the point. Okay, so this is Cobalt. Bango. Probably should put that first. Grab these. Uh we'll go over here. Drop the sign down. At some point I'll have to refill on gold, because we're starting to run run low on it. But that's okay. Okay, pop the boots over there. I'm gonna have to make another cabinet just for these. Someone made a really com comprehensive list on a Reddit thread I just found. If you want to post it uh, to me on Discord, I'd be glad to take a look. Okay, so we want to do Tool Forge, Battle Sign. Okay, Ecological and Momentum. Battle Sign! Should work? I don't really know. One way or another, it's very small. I was expecting this thing to be a bit larger, but oh well. Uh, either way, damage is fine. I'm mostly gonna want to use my other stuff. It looks super dumb. Yeah, we might want to consider making another weapon. But I think first and foremost... Uh, let's see. I'm just gonna put the book in here. Oops. And mostly, mostly just kind of swing it once. Yeah, that's not what I wanted. All right, there we go. Uh, right, we're gonna diamond the thing. Okay, so I'm gonna get a diamond. Uh. What else do we have? Because we could do a rapier, which has the most amount of spots. Cleaver. Heavy power, heavy offensive weapon, powerful strikes, difficult to we wield. Benefit from high da damage. Okay, feeling cleaver right now. So it needs a tough tool rod, large sword blade, large plate, tough tool. So we need two tough tool rods. And the large plate pattern. Yeah, but slow. I mean, I'm fine with it. Oh, God damn it! I put my book away. I was gonna go, and then, then I thought about the sign for a while. Okay, so we want to take a look at tool materials because it doesn't really matter with this. Yeah, no, it does. So extra is the sign. Cool materials, wood. Okay, so we want a wood handle. Uh, let's see. go back to this. We want to get 
large sword blade. I think we already have this. Oh, it wanted two tool uh tool rods, didn't it? Yeah, so two tough tool rods, a large plate, and a sword blade. Okay, so tough tool rods count as handles. So tool materials, maybe let's take a look at lead, poisonous, and heavy. Not big on the lead, though. What about steel? Steel's pretty good. 